Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So today I wanted to take you through the stationary aisle. Many of you have requested that I take a little bit more time and focus in on the stationary. So that's what I've done here with this video. I will visit two stores, so I'll let you know when I do a transition, but let's go on into the first one. So starting off in the pen section, I wanted to take you through some of these R2 rollers. They're made by the Ink Company, and I see this brand a lot at our do Dollar Trees. I'm wondering if you do as well. And also, is, is there a favorite pen that you absolutely love from the Dollar Tree? I know that Promarks is here, Ink, Jot, and sometimes you'll even find Zebra Pens, which is a pretty good a very well-known company for making an excellent pen. So anyways, I wanted to take you through and show nice and close what I see here in the aisle. We have gel pens and regular ink pens. There's 0.7 millimeter. And you've got 0.5 with a fine black tip. This one here is a special edition. A one point millimeter pen. These look nice as well. Forma. So these post-its are not a regular thing that I, I don't normally see them here. So if you do like them, they have the little flags as well. Definitely grab a pack. But Post-it is a pretty pretty big company as well. And then these are your typical jot ones that I do see gel ones i don't really normally gravitate towards them because i'm afraid that they're just going to be skip skipping on my page but see zebra here this is a good company so i think the quality of these pens would be fantastic and i wouldn't be afraid to try them If you guys have tried any of these and you have a favor, please share down below what are some of your favorite pens I'm always willing to try. I am a stationary addict as well and absolutely love pens. So again, I just wanted to share with you as much as possible from both locations. That way you do have a good thorough view of all of the product that's down these aisles. This is a five piece pack and they're one point, but they're black ink clip clack clicks i have always been tempted to try those i wonder if they're any good i have tried the cello smooth and i believe they're made by bic i've reviewed them on the channel i'll put that link up above for you And I'll just go through some of the little notebooks that I see here. I'm a little bit particular when it comes to notebooks, so that's one thing I probably don't spend a lot of time in the stationary book stuff because I'm a bit of like, I'm picky about my lines. I like books that don't have lines and yeah. These ones are really cute because they have like a little pocket. So if you're a couponer, you can make your grocery list and then put your coupons right in the front, which makes it really practical. just take you through some of the pencils I do own these and I think they work really nicely uh, they're just a mechanical pencil and this again another zebra line of mechanical pencils so you should be getting good quality um, with those packages there and there's your little lead refills I don't think I have tried these specifically but my son has
love these crystal clear tape packs. I actually purchased these around Christmas time. I go through a lot of tape when I'm wrapping gifts and that comes in real handy to just refill. These little glue tapes are new to me. Has anyone tried them? I do buy a lot of my shipping material here. Now there's little planners and stuff so if you're into planning they typically have the my life in a planner binders and then at the end cap you'll find sometimes they're more specific like stickers and you know notepads and stuff like that. Okay so now we're at store number two I'm just gonna go I think these were in the last video as, as well the R2 blasts or they look a little bit different to me. But it's hard when you see so many items and you start to forget. Like, I don't think we went, th I don't think we saw these at the last store. Those are 0.7. These are 0.7. These are as well 0.7. See, I think they have like different stuff. It's just crazy how each store is so different. This one's fine point, super fine point, like needle point. I have the pro marks they had zebra see look this is a 0.7 zebra another 0.7 and these are gel pens has anyone tried these i'm so curious to know if they work well these are different as well gel 600 0.7 i think they had these there as well but there was like only one pack just like it is there's one here See Zebra, these weren't there, but they look like a great pen. They look really nice. Those ones here, the ballpoint pens were there, the Z Grip, I remember seeing those. And then I think something similar to that print. A ton of Zebra products here. Okay, so I'm just gonna be quiet now and just share with you what I see, because you guys obviously can see it on the screen. These look so nice, Grip DH. Another set of zebra ballpoint pens. Three inks, purple, blue, and green. These ones we saw before. Ah, the glitter markers. I hear excellent reviews on this product. Has anyone tried these like for journaling? Well, these look nice mechanical pencils and then just going over to the highlighter section oh these are squishy little things to hold your pencil i love these highlighters i actually really do like them they work really well i hear that you can put those in the cricut machine the drop markers I'm not sure 
I've never tested it, but I have heard. Oh, here, there's some Sharpies. We didn't see Sharpies at the last store. Just wanted to go back and show you there's like the black and the blue in case we missed it. And these work really well on the Cricut. Over by the uh, phone accessories, you'll find sometimes an end cap and they'll have stylus pens. However, they have zebra stylus pens. So it has a pen and a stylus for your phone. Typically they have like a, their own brand, but right now they have zebra and they are fantastic. Another little spot you'll find them is actually by the checkout, usually where the novelty items are. You'll find some stylus pens sometimes hanging there as well. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the fun things that I spot in the stationery aisle. And until the next video, everyone, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.